I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus here and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader for both the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and the Galaxy Note 10 5G as long as the device is the Exynos version and not the Snapdragon version. I don't have the Snapdragon version. I know there are some regional Snapdragon variants out there that can have the bootloader unlocked. However, I don't have that. I don't have any experience with that. The other Snapdragon models have the bootloader unlock option blocked. But the Exynos version is very easy to unlock the bootloader. Now, unlocking the bootloader will wipe any of the data you have on your device, so be aware of that ahead of time. Do any type of backups you may need to do. And before we begin, we first need to enable developer mode. So if you're not familiar with how to enable developer mode, I won't go into it right here, but look in the video description and you'll find a link to the full tutorial for this specific guide. And in that step-by-step -step tutorial, I link to exactly how to uh, enable developer mode on Samsung devices and any other Android device. So once you have developer mode enabled, you're going to see it as a hidden option down here, labeled developer options. And again, this is on the Exynos version only you're gonna see an option here called OEM unlocking. So if this option is grayed out, either A, you have a Snapdragon variant that has the bootloader unlock option blocked, or B, you have the Exynos version like I do, but it has not been activated for more than seven days. So when I, as soon as I bought this device and added my account to it, the OEM unlocking option was blocked, and it's going to be like that for other Exynos Galaxy Note 10 series smartphones. And this will this block will be removed after seven days of use. Just so just so you're aware of that. After that seven days has passed, the option will no longer be grayed out. And then we just have to tap that option to initiate the bootloader unlock. It's going to prompt you, are you sure you want to unlock the bootloader? Just go ahead and tap on turn on. And that's all we need to do from here. However, we do, do need to boot the device over into download mode so we can finish this bootloader unlock process. So just like before, if you're not familiar with how to boot the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 series into download mode, refer to the full tutorial on my website and I'll have step-by-step -step instructions linked there. However, it's very simple. You do need to have a USB cable. We're going to be holding the volume up and down buttons, plugging in the USB cable. And that's going to boot us into download mode. Now, there's a couple of ways to boot into download mode. We need to boot into download mode using the USB method because we need to get to the smart, uh, the splash screen. We need to get to the splash screen because from here, we're going to be pressing and holding the volume up button, a long press, as you can see here, to unlock the device. Now you're not gonna see this device unlock mode option there unless you have the OEM unlocking toggle enabled within developer mode. So be aware of that. Again, you cannot just trick Samsung devices into unlocking. You have to have that OEM unlocking option enabled and then boot up into download mode. So we're just gonna do that. Like I said, we're gonna to long press the volume up button. And after a couple of seconds, we're gonna see this screen pop up. It's going to give you a little bit of information about unlocking the bootloader. It's going to ask you if you want to unlock the bootloader or not. Again, you can 
turn back right now. You don't have to continue. But if you do con to continue, it is going to do a factory reset on your smartphone. Like I mentioned before, it's going to wipe the data. We're just going to continue this process. So I'm going to press the volume up button. You're going to see the Galaxy Note 10 or Galaxy Note 10 Plus reboot. You're going to get to this bootloader is unlocked screen. It's going to tell you to press the power key to continue. Go ahead and press the power key. There goes the factory reset and then another reboot. Again. We're just going to press the power key to continue. It's just a little message to make sure you are aware the bootloader is unlocked, which is very, very important for those who have purchased their smartphone secondhand. If you have purchased your smartphone from something like eBay or Amazon's Marketplace and it's used and the bootloader is unlocked, then it is probably not a good idea to just go ahead and, and enter your information. You'll want to do a factory reset at minimum. I would actually recommend you go ahead and manually flash Samsung's Galaxy Note 10 um, firmware images to the device using Odin, which I'll show you how to do in a future tutorial. So this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. And that's simply because you just did a factory reset. We have just unlocked the bootloader. So not only does Android have to set stuff back up, but Samsung's One UI firmware also has to set stuff back up as well. So we just want to be patient here. And the Galaxy Note 10 will boot up into Android's activation screen. See, it took a little bit longer than normal, but it went through. So I have this in a different language because the device was purchased in a different country. If your native language is English, when you unlock the bootloader, you're going to see the English language here. In any case, we can just easily go through here and change the language ourselves. Now I'll go ahead and just skim through this activation screen real quick just so you can see it booting back into the actual Android home screen. And I'm just wrapping up the end of the activation screen. Just so that I can show you. There we have it. So that is how to unlock the bootloader for the Exynos version. Remember, the Exynos version only of the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and the 5G version of the Galaxy Note 10.